So do you view posing as an integral part of the one six collecting process? I know what Lael's going to say, because Lael is the posing <laughs> master, the king, if you will. But I think there are people out there, I mean, more probably more like myself. I know Carlos is, right? I know there are others out there. Like, I, I, I like posing. I don't love it. But it's, to me, it's a means to an end, because I go for the realism for the figure, whether it's Hot Toys uh, or third party or three zero or whatever, right? So I put them in a pose where I feel like they look, it's true to the character, like Leo calls it a character pose. So for me, posing is just a means to an end. I don't always enjoy it as much because I just like getting it done and then putting them in a pose I'm going to be happy with for a while and leaving it. But mm -hmm. I know Leo, with you, you like to interact and engage with your figures a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. these are articulated figures and that's part of, I guess, the selling point of them for most people, do you view it as like sort of an integral process that you have to really spend time with the figure that you bought or what do you think? I mean, <sighs> I think it's it depends on what you are trying to accomplish. Okay. You know what I mean? Like if you're in it, you know, like again, you know, we got, you know, different posers who create imagery that is just incredible. Um, you have your posing with Peters, you have your, you know, you have so many out there um who are doing some amazing things. Um, you know, and I think for me particularly because I'm trying to tell a story. I'm a visual storyteller with these figures. You know what I mean? So it's important uh, for me to do things or, or to pose. But the thing is, it may not be important to everybody. And it may not be a situation where everybody wants to do it. And you don't have to. Because the thing is, you can pull off some very, I mean, amazing um, character poses uh, that bode well. And at the same time, you're not compromising the integrity of the figure. You know what I mean? Um but I think, you know, it just depends on the person. It depends on what that person is trying to accomplish. You know, I know for me, that's what I buy my figures for. It's the pose, to create stories, you know what I mean? To tell a great story and for it to just look good in the display. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just, I don't know, that's how I feel about it, bro. Mm. It's, it's, you know, I mean, it, the thing is, everybody's going to have, you know, a lot of people don't like, um, you know, uh, uh, they don't like really telling. They don't like to, to pose. You know, people get them in, put in the museum poles, and you're good to go. You know what I mean? So it just yeah. depends on the person at the end of the day. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. And for me, I know, Leo, like with you, you like to really engage with your figures and like have them in awesome dynamic poses. And that's why I chose Peter, because you guys are awesome. Yeah. I mean, Iron Logan also <clears throat> does really good posing. Like there are a lot of, you know, and uh, Cheat Nas Dan, he does good posing. Oh, so, Cheat Nas Dan. <laughs> yeah, he's, Dan he's a good poser. Day. Like, I mean, there are a lot yeah. of guys in the community that do and guys and girls that do a Great really good job posing um yeah. so there's just one example but mario what about you man do you view it as sort of like an integral part of the process how do you approach mario's posing? a sneaky poser too bro don't get he it sneaky poser. mario don't does some cool ass poses <laughs> 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 right, I, I think i do all right um yeah stop playing <laughs> i think you know what i, yeah, I want to say yeah because these things that's what these things are meant for i mean not only for the realism but i mean they're meant to be like put together and either you're telling a story or you just want to display them and so you know some sort of um in a museum like display even if you're you know putting in well, like like for me the way Lael has this has his way he's telling he likes to tell stories for each shelf right same thing with with, uh, with peter here for me personally i've always had the vision of i just want like um well you mentioned it earlier that my own personal museum so i want to be yeah. able to look at a look at a particular figure and i want to have it posed up in such a way where they're not necessarily interacting with it with each other but i'm capturing a moment in time that's iconic to yeah. me in a particular scene like this, like a Han Solo that I have right here. I mean, we've seen this. I've got the way I've got it posed up. So we're gonna tilt the camera a little bit over here, uh, <laughs> where, where he's uh, right, right, right there. On. Basically, we we've seen that pose many times, right? Yeah, but it's so dope, he's though. so he's he's step, he's stepping forward. You know, he's got the blaster pistol out. We've seen that on, on like my inspiration for this was like the card back on the original seventy seven. Yes, all right. Mm. So okay, so okay. that's what I want to try to recreate. Yes, you know, stuff stuff like that. You know, yes. some of the um yes some of the iconic imagery that we've seen for some of these figures. You know, so I do. I these figures should be posed and they should be posed well. <laughs> I think, man. I mean, yeah, I've seen some. Yeah. I've seen some collectors that you know that'll that'll take out their um their figure and you know. They, they they try they try you know some some can use some work but you know but i you know the, the efforts there you gotta you, know, you gotta give everybody you know, you know the um appreciate the effort but yeah. yeah definitely take your time do i would say look up some reference photos look up something yeah. examine how the human body actually moves and see if you can mimic that with the figure yeah right true. and then you start your imagination will start you know working more and you're gonna find that pose that's gonna be like suitable for that you know for the figure you're working with mm -hmm. But 
Yeah, I would say it's it's, it's definitely integral in my opinion, man. It should yeah. be. Yes, yeah. bro. Issues. Yeah, and I do agree with you guys for sure. I mean, it does it does require putting a good fi- uh, pose on the figure. Otherwise, it's just not going to look as realistic or lifelike as you want it to. Yeah. So mm-hmm. for me, that's kind of why maybe I have a love-hate relationship with posing because I look at it sometimes and I'm like, man, the figure's in a pretty good pose. And I come back to it like an hour later. And I'm like, it could be better though. And then I have well, to well, keep going some, back to it. Like it's like- there, there are some figures that can get away with a straight up and down pose. I'm looking at my yeah. Tarkin right now. He's straight up and down with his hands behind, with his hands behind his back. Plain right. and simple. That's all you need. Yeah. Yeah. The, the royal yeah. guards, the red guards that are standing next to Palpatine, they're straight yep. up and down, just hold, just holding their pike. That's, yep, that's it. it. You don't need anything more than that. Nope. Yeah. You know. Even when Sometimes, you get that Joker, once you get that actual, like I said, the oh, or anybody dude. who gets the NS uh, NRS Joker in, again, presence mm-hmm. is a lot in that figure without him doing a lot exactly. at all. Mm-hmm. Plain exactly. Plain and simple. You don't yeah. really need to exactly. do much. It's true. Yeah, you don't need to go too crazy with it. But yeah, I, I, do, I do think it's an integral process overall because, yeah, I mean, you got to pose it to make the figure look as good as it can be. So it's not it's not like a statue where you can just set it up and, you know, it's going to look amazing right off the bat. Like the posing, you got to kind of put the work in to make it look at least pretty decent. That's why, like, when we look at the product photos, prototype or final products or whatever for Hot Toys or anyone else, we look at them and they put them in all these crazy dynamic poses most of the time, depending on the character. But they yeah. put them in something that makes it look real. Right. And that's why we buy mm-hmm. it because they know we like seeing that. So it isn't a part of the process to make it look as real in your collection as <clears> it does in the photos and, you know, yeah. everywhere else. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's yeah, important. Totally you mentioned too that there's, yeah, totally mentions there's nothing wrong with them with the great museum pose. I mean, a lot yeah. of mine are, are museum poses yeah. anyway, but yeah, but again, that can also, you know, bring out like Lel would mention that character pose. Sometimes it's just a simple strap and down simple. museum pose. Just straight, straight up, straight up. Like the fan is in there. Pose. You can see him. Straight yeah. Up. I mean it's yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's all you need sometimes. So yeah. I do a lot of those. So 